Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a deadly duo in love that loves reacting to some death battle. It's time for a death battle. Yes, it is. This is death battle. Uh, Gojo versus Makima. Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen versus Chainsaw Man. Um, so if you want all of our death battle reactions, check out the description of this video. We got a playlist there for you. I don't know anything about either of these uh, animes or any of these characters. So uh, this will be... Brand new information for us. Um, we also do something different on this on this channel for Death Battle. We we react to it a little bit differently. So Ken and I have a bit of a competitive streak. Yeah. And in the past, we've liked to place bets on who we think the winner is going to be. Unfortunately, last year, great minds think alike. And so we more often than not chose the same outcome. This year, to stop that, we're making it a little bit more interesting by adding money. Yeah. So now what we do is we'll watch the first half of the video where they talk about the character's special skills, mm -hmm. armors, advantages, disadvantages, weapons. Then we stop the video, we place our bets with our money, and then we go ahead and watch the second half of the video to determine which one of us has more money at the end of this death battle. Whoever has most, the most money, once we get to Thanksgiving, that person will choose the cosplay outfits for our New Year's Eve and New Year's Day videos. Okay. Are you ready? Oh, why don't we tell them what the scores are right now? <laughs> okay, yeah, we can do that. So right now, um, we have three left. So this is this is uh, one of the three left that we that we have. Um, so right now, two seventy five for for me and two ninety for Bethany. She took the lead last time. That's right. About, about a little bit too big. That's right. Um, and I'm the wrong person. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. <laughs> This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp and HelloFresh. Satoru Gojo, Jujutsu Kaisen Sorcerer Sensei. Makama, Chainsaw Man's head of Tokyo Public Safety. These two paranormal mentors are so strong that they change the very worlds they exist in. Hmm. Wow. He's whiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Japan, December 7th, 1989. Satoru Gojo was born, and the world changed. And in the world of Jujutsu Kaisen, invisible cursed spirits born from negativity threaten humanity. So it's up to the Jujutsu sorcerers to yeah. do battle with them. And what better way to learn the trade than to sign up for Tokyo Jujutsu High? At this institution, a sorcerer will learn to harness their cursed energy, or the spiritual manifestation Ooh. of intense emotion. It's like key, but if he desperately needed therapy. <laughs> sorcerers can boost their physicality and perform devastating curse techniques. Anything this from voodoo panda? dolls to swapping places with mere claps. And <laughs> lucky for humanity, <laughs> Satoru Gojo is the best sensei a sorcerer could ask for. Gojo isn't just Dance the doing. best, he's known as the strongest. His very birth hmm. forced the strength of curses to exponentially rise. Like witnessing a world record get broken, cursed society shifted to match the might of Gojo's presence. As a kid, Gojo knew he was the shit. He mastered the art of the Riz, the hoops, and the curse murdering, all alongside Sugaru Ghetto, his sorcerer BFF. Together, they planned on changing Jujutsu society for the better. And if anyone could do it, Gojo could. Thanks to his bloodline, he got one of the most busted anime powers ever, Limitless. Limitless grants Gojo a nigh-perfect defense by actualizing the very concept of infinity. It creates what? an infinite space around himself, Stopping anything coming his way, the dude is literally untouchable. Kind of. Gojo tailored Limitless to automatically detect an object's mass and velocity. As the difference between himself and an object decreases, Limitless halves the object's velocity. It's like Zeno's paradox. Think of it this way. If you're trying to get from point A to point B, first you gotta go halfway, then you gotta go another halfway, then another and another, and so on. With Limitless, you'll never arrive, just like my alimony payments. Hence, <laughs> infinity. Yeah, it might sound complicated, but it basically creates a spatial force field around Gojo at all times. Techniques on this level would burn out other sorcerers in seconds. That's where Gojo's incredible six eyes come in. They let him see and near perfectly control cursed energy at the atomic level. So he'll basically never run out of juice in a fight. He isn't just built different, he was born different. Six eyes and limitless gave Gojo the power to manipulate space itself. Gojo's lapse blue technique attracts and condenses space into singularity. With reversal red, Gojo does the opposite, repelling space. Think push and pull. But you may be asking, how does one accomplish this with cursed energy? With math! 
<laughs> Curses! Exactly! Curse energy is typically negative, like with blue, but when multiplied by itself, negative curse energy becomes positive, creating red. Oh, strawberry and blueberry! So, what happens when you combine a positive and a negative? Uh, grape? Zero! And by combining <laughs> Reversal Red and Lapsed Blue, Gojo creates Hollow Purple, an enormous ball of curse energy that literally applies the concept of zero to an opponent, crushing and repelling them into nothing. Oh Gojo's a walking cursed Swiss army knife, levitation, teleportation, even expanding Limitless to fry his enemies. Gojo can also use positive energy to heal humongous wounds, and he's constantly refreshing his brain with it 24-7 to keep up with all of this. Still, there's one technique that costs more cursed energy than anything else in a sorcerer's repertoire. Every sorcerer is born with an innate domain, a mental world shaped by their mind and heart. Add cursed energy to it and these domains can be manifested physically, a technique called domain expansion. Every sorcerer worth their salt needs one, and you know damn well Gojo has the scariest, unlimited void. You get caught in this, your ass is grass. Exposure to unlimited void overloads your consciousness with a stream of infinite information. A mere fifth of a second of exposure can leave a normal person in a vegetated state for months. Too bad it requires so much energy you can only do it like once a day. Oh wait, except for Gojo who has done it multiple times <laughs> in a row. Thanks again, Six Eyes. Quite frankly, Gojo was getting so strong that the axis of the Jujutsu world began to turn on him. Like the meta of a fighting game defined by one broken character, he defined the hierarchy of power in the sorcerer world. He alone <laughs> was the honored one. His mere presence can cause earthquakes. He outran sonic explosions and applied cursed energy within a microsecond. Gojo has been repeatedly stated by many to be the strongest sorcerer there is. That includes his ex-student Hikari, who can dodge lightning, or this little volcano-headed cursed Jogo, the embodiment of humanity's fear of fire, who Ooh. can bring down city-shattering meteors, and Gojo kicked his ass with zero effort. <laughs> but strength alone was not enough to fix his cursed world. When when Ghetto rejected Jujutsu society to forge his own justice, Gojo's philosophy changed. Instead of doing everything himself, he would teach a new generation of sorcerers to carry the torch when he could not. It's all about setting an example. If it means a world where his companions can stand shoulder to shoulder as equals, who cares if he's gotta show off a bit? Damn. This episode of Death Battle is sponsored by... Ah, what a beautiful day. The sun is shining. The birds are singing. That shit's about to happen. giant AK-47 carpet bombed the neighborhood. The sky rains blood. Millions are dead. Dear God, Wiz, it's the end times. Run away. Calm down. There's no reason to panic. It's just that in the world of Chainsaw Man, devils exist, and your fear makes them stronger. Never mind. Panic. Remember that spider you shrieked at or yeah. the last time you cut yourself dicing onions? Now the spider and knife devils are the monstrous products of your nightmares, and they hate you specifically. The <laughs> fearsome gun devil stood as the epitome of terror and destruction and was responsible for a countless loss of lives. But a group was formed to combat it and the other devils that plagued humanity, the devil hunters. Live in Japan and get yourself a pesky zombie problem? It's time to call the fourth division of the public safety devil extermination a government funded devil hunter unit the man in black a stone cold vixen makama she's dressed like columbo with a blank stare and a sadistic streak she's been in the game for a while and just found herself a new prize the union of man and pet devil dog denji the chainsaw man him, she gave him a choice live under her as a human dog or die by her hand as a devil sounds sketch but denji's <laughs> brain was set to teenage boy and makama's so in short order, Makama got a new pet. Makama may seem terrifying oh at first, but she is a dog lover and a cinephile. Though you'd be ill-advised to mess with her. Sure, for her position, you'd expect her to know how to defend herself. Martial arts here, sword play there, but devil hunters like Makama become real threats when they make contracts with devils. A classic Faustian bargain. Give mm. something of yourself. The devil gives you power. She can call death upon <gasps> anyone she chooses through a complicated ritual and even survive being shot through the head because oh. as they say in the devil hunter world you need your screws loose to live but she might have more than a few screws loose because in actuality makama is a devil herself
Gasp! There's no way this clearly evil character could be a villain in disguise. The Japanese government has been keeping a close <laughs> eye on Makuma ever since she was born. Rightfully Just so. Like she isn't some off. F tier scrub like the bad <laughs> or leech devils. She's the control devil, embodying humanity's collective fear of the oppressor. In a way, she's even more terrifying than the gun devil. Makuma can exert absolute mental control over any creature she views as inferior to her, wow. which is basically everyone. People, animals, even other devils become puppets under her command. She can even hijack their senses to listen and see whatever she wants. As a devil, Makama's far stronger, faster, and more durable than the average person. Plus, her metabolism lets her slam down as many beers as she wants to. So, uh, Makama, if you're into countlessly divorced alcoholic rednecks, uh, you know who to call. By drinking blood, she can heal her injuries, and her Ooh. sense of smell is so potent that it can spot targets from over 300 miles away. Not only can she control your mind, but your body too with telekinesis. She can mess up your internal mm -hmm. organs or blow you away with finger guns. She doesn't shoot you with invisible bullets. She points at you and then a wound just happens out of nowhere. She controls all sorts of things with these ghostly chains that stab her victims. Once they're hooked, they're easier to control. Makaba has plenty of devils in her collection. There's the massive fox devil, the future devil for precognition, and a ton of devils that exist just to stab you. But I'm definitely all about the blow shit up devil, the <laughs> undead party devil, the flamethrower devil, and the unholy matrimony that's the angel devil, which will make you see God before you die. <sighs> After about the 20th time, seeing God gets kind of old. <laughs> anyway, um, like other devils, Makuma can form contracts with people to give them power. But unlike other devils, her control powers allow her to force people into contracts that exclusively benefit her. Like when she forced Japan's prime minister into a contract that states, and I quote, <clears throat> any attack made on her will be changed into appropriate illnesses or accidents among Japanese citizens. Uh, what? The verbiage of Makuma's contract is worded specifically so so that she quickly heals from any damage that is perceived to be an attack, transferring said damage to some poor random citizen of Japan. Oh, oh man, imagine like taking a shit and Makama gets hit and whoops, guess you're wiping at the pearly gates. With these abilities and contracts, Makama set out to create the world that she wanted. No more pain, no more war, no more bad movies. The world would be perfect, but she needed the chainsaw oh. devil to do so, who just so happened to be living as Denji's heart. Yep, that cute doggo is actually the chainsaw devil. Ugh, <laughs> talk about shitty luck, kid. In the depths of hell, Makuma watched in awe as the chainsaw devil literally ate devils and eradicated plagues from existence. Because of the chainsaw devil, in this world, concepts like nuclear bombs, HIV, and even Nazis do not exist. He literally ate the concept of Nazis out of existence. However, as Makuma didn't see Denji <laughs> yeah. or the chainsaw devil as beneath her, she could not directly control him. She needed to manipulate him. So she decided to build Denji up and then tear him down as cruelly as possible. Oh. First, she murdered Denji's found family one by one. Then she made Chainsaw Man into a public hero, stripping him of the power devils received by being feared. Oh, so she could control her precious Chainsaw Devil and make him press backspace on anything she didn't like. Her telekinetic bangs shot the Chainsaw Devil out of orbit, and they stalemated the Darkness Devil, which embodies humanity's greatest fears. Makuma is stronger than devils like the Bomb Devil, who can easily blow up buildings, or the Typhoon Devil, which made city-spanning storms. And while fighting the Gun Devil Fragment, this large behemoth moved over 300 miles in a few seconds. She was pretty much unbeatable, though ultimate power can make it pretty lonely at the top. Makuma's quest may have been to make the world a better place through domination, but the truth she was never willing to admit to herself was that she really wanted to understand human emotion. After all, you can't control someone and love them at the same time. Too bad yeah. she never quite found the answer she was looking for when the Chainsaw Man defeated her once and for all by cutting her to pieces, cooking her into a seven-course feast, and fuck! Ate her? Believe oh it or my not, God. the love Makuma tried to understand was her undoing. Despite the hell she put him through, Denji still loved Makuma in his own way. So the act of devouring her was its own act of love and did not count as an attack, bypassing her immortality. Completely batshit insane. That's Chainsaw yeah. Man for you. Who knows, Wiz? Eventually, the control devil will come back, though it won't be Makuma. While her path back to hell was paved with good intentions, in the world of devils, it's no surprise. 
surprised that Makama came so close to her ideal future. Well, I mean, holy hell. Right? Ah, uh, both, I mean, like, Chainsaw Man just seems like that anime seems batshit crazy. Yeah. Uh, and Jujutsu uh, Kaisen just sounds super complicated. Uh, you know, I'm sure they're both great animes, but just getting it like broken down in, you know, whatever, each of them in like five minutes a piece uh, is it's it's intense. And it's kind of, you know, a lot. Yeah. I mean, how, how are you expected to pick a winner out of that? I mean, that's just uh, that's unfair. We, we should have a do over. We shouldn't be forced to do this. Can't believe you all are making us choose right now. Just cruel. Oh no! Wait, that we, we do it ourselves. I mean, I remember as we were as we were watching this, thinking that what's his name, Gojo, uh, thinking that Gojo would just have to be the winner. I'm like, he can do so much, and he's got mm. his little protective barrier, and like he seems untouchable, yeah. and like it has to be Gojo. But Makima's a freaking devil, and telekinesis. She doesn't need to touch him. She doesn't need to get near him. She could just screw up his insides and, and job done. But she does seem a bit dependent on Chainsaw Man. Hmm. Like she's got a lot of powers, but they did say that like sort of a, a an element to her strength was her reliance on Chainsaw Man. I don't think he's going to be in the fight. But I also like her because she likes dogs and <laughs> she goes to the movies. She's a devil. Yeah, but you know, if the devil had a Pomeranian, then Exactly. I mean, this is such a coin to I don't I don't freaking know. Um It's okay. You just gotta pick. I know. By the way, 35 minutes has passed since we uh, like we skipped ahead. I I wanna choose Machina just because I like Machina. Or Machima. Machima. Sorry, Machima. Um I feel like Gojo somehow might win. And in the past, I've gone against that instinct to choose the person I like better, and it has not worked out for me. So I'm conservative bet as always. Whoop. Well, I just threw away Now it's gone. No, 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 no. You lose that $5. Then it gets deducted from your score. Absolutely You not. have lost it. I'm going to do $5 on Gojo, and I'm going to hope that I don't regret this. All right. So you got $5 on Gojo. <laughs> Um, so that would get you to 295. So I'm gonna if put I win. 20 on Gojo. I want I thought Gojo was gonna win. So I'm gonna try to catch up to you with 20 on Gojo. Uh and if you know I just would lose more, I guess, if I if Gojo does not end up winning. Um Makima, like the contracts and everything like that, like her seems really dependent on her the world itself, uh, more than Gojo. Just, I mean, it said that like also she can't, she can lose if she thinks that the person is like better than than her. And she normally doesn't ever think that, but like she has before in the past. So I think that she will again, because Gojo, like everyone is just sort of like, yeah, he's the best. Like, Yeah, it feels like her victory has contingencies. I yeah. don't really feel like there are contingencies with Gojo. I feel like he's just gonna. It's not that I don't think Makima could win, but like when we try and think of death battle, uh, you know, what I've learned and we've been told in the comments as well is like, who would win the majority of the time? Okay. okay. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. All right, the combatants are set. We've run the oh, he's dancing too. Possibilities. Mm -hmm. yeah. But first, a couple oh, of rules for a unique fight like this one. We'll be Ooh. considering curses and devils They're to rude. be comparable beings to avoid arbitrary terminology in their power systems that might make this fight incompatible. We will also consider Gojo and Makama citizens of the same Japan to balance it out. It's huh. time for a death battle! Interesting. Citizens of the same Japan, so... so they operate in the same world. We said Makima was world dependent. Yep. They fucking changed it up at the last second. Hey! There we go! That That's was the spoiler. Yep. Love well, this part. Well, I could have been some flicks right about now. <laughs> but Although we wouldn't have known that that was Afro Samurai and, and true. Samurai Jack. As they please. Oh, don't ruin this film for her. 
No talking during the movie. <laughs> Technique <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, because someone else dies. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, my God. Oh, that's so much fun. Much won't matter to you soon. Don't worry. I'm Satoru Gojo, the strongest. <laughs> Confident, strong, and idiotic. We'll be sure to write it on your tombstone. <laughs> Call. Ooh. We don't kill you too quickly. I should be good. Since you're so weak. Oh. <laughs> I should talk back for it. Yeah. Oh. That's a force field. Bang. 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 Uh oh. Not going well for you, Gojo. Be a good boy and play dead. <laughs> Should I bark too? I'm getting really tired of your pets. <laughs> Should I bark too? Domain expansion. Unlimited void. <laughs> Throughout heaven and earth, I alone am the honored one. Oh shit! I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Not sorcerers were killed. All right. Hey, oh. So do you think that place is offering discounted tickets or too soon? Yeah, I'll order online. <laughs> Gojo and Makama were complicated to compare. On the yeah. surface level, Gojo had a lot going for him. It's no surprise, given that his reputation in Jujutsu Kaisen is that of its pinnacle. At least it was. First of all, it's unlikely Makama would see Gojo as inferior to her, in a similar way to how she saw Denji. So she wouldn't be able to immediately control Gojo. Gojo's birth caused a giant shift in the world of curses. Plenty of people have recognized that after only seeing him once. Being better than everyone is literally Literally Gojo's thing. Hmm. Plus, Gojo automatically refreshes his brain with positive cursed energy 24 7. Even if Makama could control him, it wouldn't last very long. Gojo is obviously stronger, too. The best feat we can compare Makama to is the Typhoon Devil Storms. But that's nothing compared to the meteor created oh. by Jogo, who is leagues below Gojo in strength. However, considering she reacted to the Gun Devil Fragment, Makama would actually be a bit faster. Though she would need to be able to get past Limitless for her speed to matter. Makama had more devils than you can shake a fin at, but most were rendered moot against Limitless. Knives, fire, bombs, Zombies, it's all stuff Gojo's dealt with before and with zero issues. And Gojo could easily wipe out her demonic crowd with red and blue whenever he wanted to. The future devil could clue her in on anything nasty coming her way, but that wouldn't last forever. Plus, with Gojo's six eyes and teleportation, she had zero opportunities to break away and set up her instant kill moves. Mm. But Gojo would obviously lose if he couldn't permanently kill Makama. Six eyes couldn't inform him of Makama's contract with the prime minister, and eventually one of Gojo's attacks could cause his death instead, even if it took a while. And Makama did have yeah, a way past Limitless with her finger guns. Makama could land attacks directly on Gojo's body, meaning there's no projectile for Limitless to detect and infinitely slow down. Though when they did land, hmm. Gojo's healing ensured that he repaired his body quickly. On the flip side, Makama didn't have a counter to Gojo's domain expansion. Unlimited Void overloads its target with unlimited information. It's not really an attack. You could call it an attack on the senses, but even if she could transfer it to other Japanese citizens, she still could not escape an infinite amount of information. 
We can compare this to the Doll Devil, who was defeated by a technique similar to Unlimited Void. Despite being able to transfer her mind across a large number of hosts, the Doll Devil was still trying to transfer infinite information Halloween, across Halloween, Halloween. finite people. Even with all of Japan as mental meat shields, Makamo would still be overwhelmed. Wait, doesn't that mean Gojo just unintentionally killed basically everyone in Japan? <laughs> Don't think about it. Regardless, <laughs> Gojo is immune to his own Unlimited Void, so he was still unaffected. Good for him. The moment Unlimited Void landed, Makama would be stuck, opening her up for a good old hollow purple. Her contract isn't perfect. Makama only ever regenerated as long as there was some mass to come back from. But hollow purple disintegrates anything it touches to zero. Literally, there's no way she was regenerating from that. Sure, control as a concept will always exist, but a reincarnation of the control devil isn't Makama. This was one of the craziest fights we've ever had. However, yeah. with Gojo's raw power broken counters and unbelievably busted Limitless, Makama lost control over this fight. Makama thought she had Gojo by the ball and chain, but in the end, she was left hollow. The winner is Satoru Gojo. Thanks for watching, and hey, are you a Death Battle member? We've got a ballot going on right now where members get to choose a matchup for the next season. So click that join button and jump into our Champions Discord. Halloween! Yeah, Scooby! Oh. Curry's the cowardly dog. Oh! Oh, that's fun. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna love that one. I am. I really am. <laughs> what a great battle! Um, yeah, just I mean, very entertaining, start to finish. Uh, bloody as hell. Um, and love the shit talk that they had back and forth between each other. Um, yeah, just really enjoyed it. I mean, I think this is the first time we've ever seen a battle where they've actually had to put a disclaimer beforehand. Yeah. Um, which is wild. I mean, they do some crazy matchups on this and to think that they, that this one was so complex, complex and kind of out of this world mm -hmm. that they had to be like, so before we get started, we're just going to put this all in the same world mm -hmm. <laughs> and you have to suspend your disbelief from either side and just realize that all of this shit exists in the same place. Yeah. Um, and that was amazing to see and um yeah thoroughly enjoyable fight very complicated I, I don't even know that i necessarily understood everything that i even saw during yeah. it but i deeply appreciated it we were so unfamiliar with these characters and this was such a, a bizarre sort of new environment for them to fight in with us not knowing either world let alone yeah. kind of melding them together um that it was it was just a wild ride from start to finish to kind of watch this and 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 try to comprehend what was going on and guess who was going to be the victor and and never really quite getting your finger on the dial so yeah very enjoyable um and we're tied now so and we're tied 295 to 295 uh <laughs> we got two left uh it's going to end in a tie isn't it um no it will not end in a tie uh we'll see we'll see how it goes um, let us know what you thought about this down below in the comments. And uh, if you want all of our death battle reactions, we have a playlist down below in the description of this video. Along with a link to Patreon, you can get uh, early ad free access to death battle and all of our other reactions here. And on our other channel, Definitely Not Definitive Games. So you can check both of those out. Yep. Thanks so much for checking out our reaction for death battle, Gojo versus Makima, but just keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive. <laughs>